well, if we start with the news that you're going to have that armband on for the upcoming qualifiers, how does that feel? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, when Serena told me, obviously, for me, I think no matter what age you are, how many times you've done it before, um, it's always going to be a huge honour, you know, representing your country. And, yeah, not only that, but then leading the girls out um, for this camp is, yeah, it's obviously an exciting opportunity. Um, but for me, nothing changes. The aims are still the same. Keep performing well. Um, and, yeah, hopefully lead the team to two more victories. How special will that feel, walking out? leading the team out? Yeah, it's crazy, and especially going back to a place that's very close to my heart and somewhere where it, it all began for me, really. Um, so, yeah, to go and to be able to go back there and, you know, for my family to be in the crowd and just to be given that opportunity is, um, yeah, it's one that I'm very proud of and I'm very grateful for. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's always special and having the fans back in the crowd is, is amazing. So, yeah, I think it's something that words will, will never be enough for, really. You've grown into being a, a real leader on the pitch. How important do you take those responsibilities? Yeah, hugely. I think with or without the armband, um, I always remain myself and, and the same Millie, the same player, the same person. I like to lead by example, like I said, with or without the armband, um, keeping my standards high every day. And I'm just here for the team to do well. That's, that's the aim. Um, I think we've all got that same mentality. But yeah, for myself um, here and, and at club really is kind of just taking that leadership role um, naturally and yeah just like I said for me it's important to remain me and not try and be anything but me because that's you know that's got me to the position that I am now so um, yeah hopefully I can do a, a good job this week. And it, it, at times like this is it always uh, tinged with disappointment for, for the person who, who, who misses out because Leah Williamson was was leading the team obviously before her injury so it's always hard, isn't it, in football that you kind of get these opportunities when, when somebody else has had that setback? Yeah, we're all gutted for, for Leah. It's, um, it's a big loss and she was really coming into her, into her own um, in the role. And, you know, she did a fantastic job on the previous camps. Um, but that's part of football. You have to be ready when you're called upon. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's one that I'm, I'm ready for the challenge this week and this camp. And like I said, hopefully I can continue the good work that's been done previously. How special is it being part of this England team at the moment? You know, it's a, it's a new chapter with a, a new boss. You've been putting some incredible results so far under Serena Wigman. How exciting a time is it? Yeah, it's a new slate, um, a new journey, new opportunities, um, fresh staff that have come in and, and even new youngsters that are coming into the squad and, and proving themselves. Um, and yeah, it's, it's exciting. I think we're playing really good football um, and that's something that we're striving to do each day is to be better players, uh, be better as a group and keep performing. Um, and that's something that, you know, that's all we can do is our best with one another. Um, and like you said, we've been getting the results and yes, they may seem high scoring results, but we still have to work very hard for each goal and to have the quality to stay switched on and be professional from the first whistle to the end whistle, um, I think has been exceptional from every single player. And yeah, for us as a team, we just want to keep pushing and, and make sure we're at our best for the Euros. And I think what's noticeable about Serena Wigman after the game, you know, you've won 10 nil. She was still picking up parts where she wants to see improvement do, do you sense that she's somebody who's always pushing you for more and you, are you feeling that as a group you're going to develop and develop under her yeah definitely um yeah i think with serena if you can score five goals you score five if you can score 10 you score 10 and for us again that's keeping our standards high that's not settling for the performances that that we've we've had so far it's you know analyzing every little detail and that's what we've got to do to to be the best and to go on and be successful um never settle for for what you've got we've got to keep pushing one another and no matter who we play no matter the opponent our standards remain the same um and the outcome we always want to be the same which is a high quality performance um and obviously the win that's that's why we're all here but yeah the main focus is getting the performance and you know keep gelling as a as a squad and as a team and yeah everybody coming out of their shell and, and performing this will be your toughest challenge yet so far won't it in these qualifiers yeah definitely i think each opponent gives us a different a different challenge um and even you know playing latvia again it's it's Yes, we've played them before and been successful, but every game's different. Um, we don't underestimate any opponent and, you know, we've still got to put in the hard work and go back to our values and, you know, the game plan. But, yeah, this is going to be our toughest opponent, so I think everyone's looking forward to that. Um, 
and yeah, seeing how we come out. And a word on Ellen White, um, in line to make her 100th appearance, so close now to, to breaking that all-time uh, scoring record uh, as well. Um, what is she like as, as a teammate? What is she like to have around the place and on the pitch? And, and how impressive uh, are those statistics? She's the best. Um, no, Els is a true professional. Um, she's worked extremely hard to, to get to where she is now. And she fully deserves it. And, you know, I've got all the confidence in her that she's going to keep breaking barriers and keep breaking records. Um, she never settles. She's always pushing herself every day. And she's the ultimate team player. She just wants the team to do well. So, yeah, she's coming up to these, you know, unbelievable achievements. But I can tell you now, Ellen's focus will purely be the team. And that's just Ellen down to a T. She's all for everyone around her. Um, but I think we've all got to be for Els this week. Hi, Millie, congratulations on the armband. How would you describe your leadership style? Um, I'm very vocal on the pitch. Um, if, you know, things need to be said, they'll be said. I'll always, like I said, try and lead by example. And first and foremost, I look at myself. Am I doing everything I can do, um, you know, before helping others to make sure I'm in a position to lead? Um, and yeah, I think just, just setting, setting the tone, really, that's something that I've kind of always done since been little. Um, and I think for me, that's that's the most important thing is is leading by example. Uh, sometimes actions speak louder than words. But for me, it's making sure I step up in the hard times, you know, when things aren't quite going right or something's not really clicking. Um, it's making sure I get the team back together in those moments. Um, yeah, and keeping it positive, getting the best out of one another. What was your family's reaction when you told them you were going to be captaining England and in Doncaster as well? Well, I've not actually had time to FaceTime him yet. Um, we've had a very busy day, so I did send them a quick little message, and I was like, I know you're going to be excited, but I'll ring you later, I promise. So, yeah, I think once um, all the media's done, I'll, I will go and FaceTime them. Yeah, they're just over the moon, super proud, and I think something they always say to me is just keep being you, because that is, you know, why I'm here and, and kind of what's been what's led to this opportunity for this camp. So, yeah, I'll just keep being myself, and like I said, with or without the armband, I will always try and lead the team. I suspect you're going to go back to a very busy phone after this. <laughs> yeah, extremely. The fact that uh, Doncaster's obviously so close to your family, how many of them are we going to see in the stands uh, next week? Yeah, a lot. I think everyone's coming to, to both games, but especially the Doncaster one, and hopefully seeing some old faces that I've not seen for a long time. Like I said, that is where it all began for me. Um, you know, many are tough games at Keepmo, so yeah, it's really going to be a, you know, a warm uh, welcome back, hopefully, and I'm sure it will be. How pleasing has it been for you as a defender to have kept clean sheets in all of the, the qualifiers so far? A lot has been made of the, the large number of goals have been scored, but clean sheets are obviously impressive as well. Yeah, that's something we take equal pride in. Um, they're just as important as scoring the goals. And for me as a defender, you keep a clean sheet, you're always in the game you know, to win it. Um, so first and foremost, we want to be hard to beat as a team. We don't want to be letting goals in and... Certainly in games where we should be dominating, um, it's massively important that we stay switched on, like I said before, and yeah, we don't get complacent or sloppy. And I think, like I said, that's something we've been extremely good at. Um, and moving forward, we want to do that against the, the tougher opponents as well. What would it mean to be able to go off on your Christmas holidays with maximum points from the games so far? Yeah, it'd be massive. Um, obviously, that is the aim. But again, going back to the performance, we want to keep growing as a team. Um, like we said, it is a new journey. Um, a lot of things have changed, new players. So we do need to keep gelling as a squad. Uh, most importantly, we do need to keep improving performances week in, week out, no matter the opponents we face. Um, and I think if we keep heading in that direction, we're going to be in the best place we can be. Last one from me, and I hope you don't mind me asking, but it keeps catching my eye. The new tattoo on your arm, is it a lioness? Um, I should probably say it is. Um, but yeah, it is half lion, half uh, human eye. So yeah, we'll go with the lioness on the left and then the human eye on the right. What did your mum make of it? She was actually all right about it. My dad, not so much, but he's a hypocrite because he's covered head to toe, so he can't really say anything. Nice, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Millie, good to Hello. see you. I just want to uh, find out how Serena told, the, told you that you'd be captain. Um, it was this morning, um, just asked me for a little um, chat. We've actually taught her a new little phrase, a little chit-chat, and then she was like, oh, can I take you for a chit-chat? Which is quite ironic. Um, and then, yeah, just asked me if I was happy to be captain for this camp, and I was a little bit stunned at first. You know, we've got a lot of leaders and experience in the team. 
Um, and yeah, I was just very humbled and honored to be given that opportunity. And yeah, we had a little conversation and then yeah, just go on from there. And when you speak to your family later, do you think that's when it'll really sink in? Yeah, I think obviously keeping two feet on the ground and being me is, is you know, my 100% my aim. It's to, to be no different than I've been every other camp. Um, if anything, maybe be a little bit more forceful. And like I said, in the tough times, really bringing the team back together. Um, and luckily we've not faced that many tough times yet in a game, but even still keeping on top of the quality, the, the passes, the shape, the organization, um, can I really take control of that and make sure, you know, everyone's doing what they should be doing. But yeah, I think later on when I speak to family and especially my granddad, and going back to back to the keep mo is um, gonna be a huge moment for, yeah, not only myself, but my, my family as well. Do you feel as though this is a moment that you've been building up to throughout your career, from your time at Chelsea to also England? I can't say it's something that has been in the back of my mind um, or that I say, right, I'm going to set out to be, you know, a captain on this camp. It's not something, you know, that you kind of think about in that way. I think for me, it's just always been prepared if given that opportunity. Um, obviously, I, I get put in that situation at Chelsea and, you know, working alongside Mag, so... Yeah, it's just always been ready and that's something that I've, you know, really focused on myself is just always being prepared if that opportunity came um, and knowing that I'd be ready to, to do the job and keep performing myself. And also, just finally, just want to talk about your goal scoring recently because 40 games without an England goal and then you've got three goals <laughs> in three. I mean, I've been speaking to Emma Hayes recently and she says she always knows that you about your goal scoring ability for club and potential country. Do you know that you've always had that in the locker and you've just wanted to just bang them in like you have been recently? <laughs> yeah, it took a while, um, which was frustrating. Um, but for me, yeah, it's something that I've always wanted to add to my game. I think it's been the missing link. Um, you know, I am quite, some would say, aggressive on the pitch in terms of I'll, I'll put my head on anything, I'll put my body on the line. And I do that defending, but I want to add that to my attacking game. Um, yeah, so really happy to get the three goals and be able to contribute to the team really and you know be another threat for the for the team on a pitch but yeah it's something that I'm working on and I want to keep progressing in and it's Serena pushing you know you know to provide that attacking threat getting forward and you know because she knows that you can score the goals now that you've scored all three under her yeah definitely I think it's she pushes everybody you know everybody's um, got the ability to score in in this squad um, and yeah, it's it's not so much about the personnel. If you're in an opportunity to put the ball in the back of the net, then Serena is 100% encouraging everyone to do that. So I think we've shown that we've got a lot of different goal scorers in the last few games, um, which is brilliant. And it's yeah, that's the, the base and we have to keep working on that. Thanks, Millie, and good Thank luck you. on the weekend.